Look, Zack. That seat is beckoning us. Listen to the two ends and drink dry the fire water. Do this and you will see the other world. Hungan's oracle pointed us to this bar. So we must have to do something here. But I feel like the fire water part is missing something. Zack, do you see that? It's a gigantic go sign. I think someone's trying to send us a very powerful message here. That settles it. This must be a singularity. Beautiful lipstick. The color red suits you. Thank you. Red is the color of life. No human who knows the joy of life would ever hate this color. Or would they? Maybe. Maybe not. But I know of a drug with a red color that certainly doesn't signify life. It sometimes even steals the lives of those who drown themselves in it. Catch my drift? Before a candle's flame burns out, it burns brighter than ever before, blazing like a shining red star. Don't you think that instant is more valuable than a century of smoldering? That blaze doesn't cast out the darkness. It only emphasizes it. But where are my manners? I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Let me get straight to the point. You were present when Lise Clarkson was murdered. And you were also involved with Galena Clarkson's death. Correct? Agent Morgan. Are you a man who can hold his liquor? I'd love some fire water. We're similar. You and I. Really? I don't see the resemblance. Well, you should. Look deeper. Think about who you were when you were first born and who you are now. Different selves exist inside your body. Are you talking about Zack? <laughs> I was born as a man. But in my heart, I wasn't so. And this is a small town. I experienced far more scorn and discrimination than anyone could ever imagine. Especially from my father. 
Parents are supposed to raise their children with love. That's the norm, right? Not for me. I was raised by my father's flesh-seething hatred. So you ran away from home, started making drugs, then seduced a young life and destroyed it? That story makes no sense to me. Think about it. They didn't burn you in a witch hunt, nor did they ever try to take your life. Yet here you are, letting your selfish fantasies drive you to torch the entire town with vengeful fire. Why did you abandon your inheritance only to end up in a place like this? What do you hope to achieve? <laughs> You've already figured out that much. Leonard doesn't exist anymore. He disappeared from me a long time ago. All that's left now is the Red Soul. The Red Soul? The Red Soul gives me strength and courage. And I vowed to use that strength to change this world. The Red Soul has the power to amplify the unique characteristics we all possess. Mentally and physically. That's why I created the Holy Red Powder. So that everyone can enjoy its divine benefits. Mm. That's ridiculous. Our world is home to scarier monsters than violence and prejudice. Ugh. Zack. Someday, even your best friend will abandon you. No. Never. And in the end, you'll be all alone. Zack and I will always be together. Ugh. <laughs> I can't, I can't find, find mommy, mommy either. either. <laughs> don't, 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 don't leave, leave me, me alone. alone. Please? Please, Daddy. Please, Daddy. Please, Daddy. She got a sack. She spiked the drink with some sort of sleeping pill. No wonder they call her the professor. Whew. But that was a rash move. Perhaps she realized that she's finally crossed the point of no return. Or... <sighs> we need to head to the Clarksons at once before it's too late. We can still stop this. Zack, it's a singularity. The Oracle was right on the mark. The mouth to the other world is open, ready to swallow us alive. I think this case is finally starting to come together. Here we go again, Zack. You're as excited as I am, aren't you? You don't have to explain everything. No need for words right now. Not while this eccentric, provocative experience is begging us to come inside. Yes, yes, yes. 
Zack, do you feel it? Something happened here. It's the same feeling I got when we entered the place where Lise died. <sighs> Professor R. Lena came in here alone. It looks like nothing but a suicide attempt to me. Did she have some trick up her sleeve? They certainly look a little rough around the edges. Perhaps we should just call them the Clarkson Gang. They're holding their weapons like total amateurs, which means they must not have had any formal training. Even if they came rushing in all at once, they'd still be no match for us. Maybe the Clarksons aren't as fearsome as the rumors make them out to be. Or perhaps they've fallen into such a decline that they can't even manage their own allies any longer. Now you decide to come back, huh? What for? I know you've been hiding from me, planning God knows what. Too bad it ain't gonna amount to anything. Zack, that's a miniature bomb. Lena must have set it here. Is this her trump card? It looks pretty elaborate. Another accolade for the professor. She also displayed expert precision when she used that fire to make my cocktail. Her wisdom gave birth to San Rouge. She must also have an advanced understanding of chemistry. I just hope she hasn't laid any other traps for us up ahead. Yes, I abandoned my family. But that has nothing to do with the Clarkson's downfall. It's much more complicated than that. Philip J. Clarkson. The horrible father that Professor R. spoke of. Of course, he looks perfectly calm. It's hard to believe that it's only my second time seeing him. He's an overwhelming man, Zack. The legacy of the Clarksons is like a candle in the wind. A sad vestige of what it used to be. But it's not completely dead yet. So what? Uh, you came here to snuff it out yourself? Oh, no. I didn't come to snuff anything out. I came to make it burn red once more. What in hell is with you? That face, Zack. She looks so calm and collected. Perhaps she intended to take her own life after she murdered Philip. 
but that wouldn't solve anything. We know how calculating she is. Surely she must have understood that. Just like you said, times have changed. You've gotten old. Your power is waning. But I'm not going to let things end here. After you and all the old tumors die, the goddess will take control of Lucare. And all of Louisiana, for that matter. The goddess of fertility, with all her newfound might. And who's that supposed to be? You? Ha! <laughs> That's a good one. You know, you're just as dumb as everyone else. You never see things for how they really are. Oh, no. <laughs> Here, go on. Take my life. You can have it. Do whatever you want with me. But don't you forget. That's clogs in blood you got running through those veins. <laughs> oh, you. You took the long way to it. But it looks like you be inheriting our legacy after all. Just like I always wanted you to. <laughs> oh, I won't be inheriting anything. What? I'm not the goddess of fertility either. Well, then... But I'm still powerful. Professor R fought hard in this hall, and the last gunshot we heard sounded ominous, Zack. Everything she says seems to hint at some deeper meaning. The goddess of fertility taking over all of Louisiana with her newfound power? The details elude me, but she's clearly plotting something big. But if she dies here, she'll never be able to complete it. Why risk it then? Huh. Oh well. Let's continue on, Zack. I'm sure we'll find the answer once we reach the Inner Sanctum.
Now this is a surprise. Huh. Zack. You're surprised. This is my house. And I can set foot wherever I please within my own house. Or is that against the law now too, FBI? Where's Professor R? I know she came here. 100 years ago, my father, Isaac Clarkson, came to this town and subjugated its people with his might. In time, he created an empire that put the entire southwest region of Louisiana right in the palm of his hand. Whenever any of his kin betrayed him, he cut them limb from limb and make an example of them. The shadows need a way of Keeping the balance, too, you see. That's why the seven roots exist. Sometimes they chop a fella's ears off, or maybe scoop his eyes out. Then they chop off all the limbs. Either way, they all ended up looking the same in the end. No different from mixing up the ingredients in your food. But this... This is sick. Why would any soul ever need to line up the stumps all neat like this? What's happening in Lucari right now ain't right. It ain't nothing like what we got up to back in my day. You know, it kind of feels like what you call pure evil. I'll be real honest here. Right now, I'm afraid. The evil that's taking this era by the balls is trying to gobble up Lucare too. Francis York Morgan, you FBI son of a bitch. Just what in hell did you come to this town for? Well, I hate to rain on your sensational parade of a monologue, but my answer is simple. I came here chasing a drug called San Rouge that's been steadily permeating the southern states, and I plan to arrest all the perpetrators involved in the name of justice. <laughs> oh, you sure sound like a devil, all right. So be it. You're free to interpret my words any way you like. Well, interpret this. You've come here to bring death and destruction to our town, or my name isn't P.J. Clarkson. You leave a mountain of corpses in your wake. So go on and suffer. 
in the name of justice or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Zack, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to prove that we fight on the side of justice, but why was Philip here in the first place? I thought we were inside her mind. Hmm. No need to answer, Zack. The only reason this world's so fun is because of all the mysteries it holds.
I grew up in this room. As my back broke under all my father's expectations. Your cocktail was delicious. So delicious, in fact, that it carried me off into a dream. Professor R, what did you hope to achieve by coming back to this house? I don't believe for a moment that you'd ever risk your life just to get revenge on your father. <laughs> Leonard Clarkson. That was my name when I lived here. Everyone called me Lenny. My father taught me all sorts of things so that I would grow up to become a proper heir. How to manipulate people. How to properly use tools such as violence and rewards. But I could never bring myself to care about any of it. You left this place in order to find your true self. But what did that achieve? In the end, you fell back into Lucare. And now you spend your time selling the new drug you created, preying on the weak. You and the Clarksons are exactly alike in that regard. No, you choose your victims indiscriminately, which makes you even uglier. Some people find joy in ruining themselves, offering up their lives to whatever they worship. This cycle has repeated itself since long ago. To me, it's the most noble of actions. Surely you must agree, Agent Morgan. Stop trying to rationalize your crimes with that dramatic gibberish. Vici situdo, the Latin word used to describe a fluctuation between two polar opposites. Galena's body wasn't a declaration of war. It was this, wasn't it? Those severed roots were fakes. Who did you force to kill Galena? I can't believe you figured out that much. You're dangerous. What you're talking about is true madness, not some noble fairy tale. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to shoot me. Okay. Go ahead and shoot. Come on! Shoot me! Ugh. The Clarkson bloodline is cursed. It needs purification. A blood purge! <laughs> Oh! <laughs>
Zack, here it is again. A red tree and a translucent cocoon. I think we've reached the core. The goddess of fertility will descend into Lucari 
And then, the sweet fruit will be ours. Destruction is the first step to creation. <laughs> Lisa's death sent everything into motion. There's no stopping it now. Her death proved how determined I am. How dedicated I am to all who trust in me. Galena and Lise, their deaths were not in vain. They led us to the harvest. The Clarkson blood curse will be washed away. Life must be sacrificed. Blood purge. Blood purge. Blood. Blood. I need blood! Galena and Lise, they're both dead. I can't turn back now! The Red Soul can't die here! You can't erase it! Blood Purge! The Blood Purge! We will create a new world! A new generation! Must be purified! That's the true self you worked so hard to find. I'm sorry, Lena. I gave you far more credit than I ever should have. The Clarksons have always been the chosen ones. Proud souls. Divine life-given form. But at some point, that blood became tainted. So I decided to reset it. I need to purify this corrupt blood for the one I love most. After I left home, I met the Red Soul and acquired a guide. And so I created the Red Powder and became an apostle for the Red Magic. The Red Powder transforms the body from within. It creates empowered souls. And mature souls are the greatest offering one can present to the goddess. Lys and Galena didn't lose their minds. They both died with honor. Died with honor? Just how deluded are you? You dismembered them and strung up their bodies in the name of vapid symbolism. Where's the honor in that? So what if they said they wanted to die? Cultists have been saying that for centuries. Silence! You will impede us no longer. You're always so smug. Oh, how I hate you. This is the last you'll ever see of my plan. Now die! <laughs> Fire and brimstone! <laughs> this is true! <laughs> No one can stop my plan.
This can't be happening. I'm supposed to be invincible. Purification! If you kill me, no one will be left to tell you about the plan. No. How could I lose? But it's too late. No one can stop my plan. Now. Not even me. Red Tree! Lena, let go. I'm going to count to three, then you're going to get down on the ground and put your hands behind your head. Got it? See this? If I let go, the bomb in the fireplace will explode. Do something smart for once, Lena. Detonating that bomb won't solve anything. You're wrong. Agent Morgan, it'll give me the ending I've always dreamed of. Leonard, you're wrong. Killing me won't bring back our family's prosperity. No, I know I am right. You never change. Once you make up your mind, that single idea possesses you. It's almost like you're cursing yourself. Oh, my, always holding on to all your pain. No! You're the one who's wrong! When you first told me about the disparity between your mind and your body. I didn't know how to love you. Stop it! I don't want to hear this! But I... I always knew from the very... Stop! Stop talking! There was something special inside you. I also know that you had any cause with your older sister. Your own flesh and blood. Shut up! I just didn't know how to treat you. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Stop. Please. I never, ever hated you. I always loved you from the bottom, from the bottom of my... I said shut up. Don't, Lena! This is... necessary. All of the corrupt blood... must die. The Clarkson's blood must be purged. Then, the purity that's left behind... can rebuild the Clarkson's legacy. Is that the goddess of fertility? Go and see her with your own eyes. You're an FBI special agent. Surely you can find her.
No one can stop my plan now. Not even me. No, stop! Patricia Clarkson. <laughs> Agent York? Can you hear me? What is it, Patty? Where's Melvin? Well, I don't know. He won't answer me, and he ain't at the sheriff's office either. What should I do? You think he got caught up in some kind of trouble? Oh my... Uh... I did. No. I did. Oh, shit. I got nothing now. Oh. oh. Uh. I can't. I can't. Patty, I need someone at the Clarkson's house ASAP. I don't care who you send. They can also ask Daniel Clarkson about the details once they get here. And you should also call an ambulance just in case. Got it? Huh? Uh, sh sure. I'm going to head straight over to the sheriff's office, Patty. Let's meet up there. Did you find Melvin? Nope. I can't find either of them. Either of them? Yeah. When I went home, it wasn't just my daddy who was missing. Mama was gone, too. This never happened before. Zack, we need to stop Professor R's plan, no matter what it takes. Relax, Patty. You don't need to worry about a thing. I'm sure that Melvin just stumbled across an important clue that's stolen his attention for now. And I'm sure he's protecting your mother while he's at it. Let's just leave the investigation to the local police and rest for today. I need to prepare a report for the HQ anyway. How about staying with me in my room until we find them? But... You don't need to worry. I can't make you any homemade food, but I've got a first-class chef and a first-class concierge at my disposal. Oh, <laughs> and a very affable bellboy. It's a lot of fun at that hotel. But... Okay, I guess. Thanks, Agent York. You're a lady, so you take the bed. Zack and I will be fine on the couch. <sighs> Zack, the Clarkson family tree is nothing like we thought it was. We need to reorganize everything we've uncovered so far. She was so tired, she fell right to sleep. Hey, Zach, I'm in a very difficult spot right now. I feel like this case is heading in a direction that will be extremely unpleasant for her. I've never felt anything like this during any of our cases thus far. First, let's go back to the beginning. Lise Clarkson's body was found hanging under a bridge over the bayou. 
in a deserted spot close to where the bayou meets the Mississippi. The one who fired the pistol at heaven surely had no idea what he would find there. Speaking of which, Zack, Chuck, the man who started this race we're running, what's his occupation? That's right. He's a crawfish farmer. And after chasing a poacher's boat that crossed over into his farmland, he went up the bayou and was fortunate enough to find Lisa's body. I doubt it was a very pleasant experience for him. But if not for his discovery, Lisa's body might have started rotting out there. He's a difficult person to be sure, but I don't think he's a bad guy. Chuck said something peculiar. He claimed the Clarksons were a little better when their son was still around. I don't know exactly what he meant, but we ended up meeting the person he was talking about, didn't we? Under very unexpected circumstances. Leonard Clarkson. He ran away from home, found his true self, then changed names. Sozak. Do you remember her name? Helena Doman. The townspeople call her Lena. She was also known as Professor R while she plotted against the Clarksons. She's the mother of the new drug known as Saint Rouge. She must have also had a group of followers who worshipped her fanatically. I can see it now. Lena sprinkling down the red powder, corrupting every last pure and innocent girl in town. Lena mentioned her plan each time we met. She must have taken us for utter fool, Zack. She thought she was always one step ahead of us and that we'd never see the full scope of her plan. Well, her plan isn't complete yet and I know we can still stop it. That's why we need to learn all we can about her. Her alias was Professor R, and she was well learned in the areas of medicine and fire dynamics. By the way, Zach, do you remember what weapon Lena used to murder PJ? Correct. She used a miniature bomb. To tell you the truth, she surprised me. That bomb was so well placed, it left hardly any damage on the building itself, yet still did amazing work on them. Lena should have used that brain of hers for something more productive than that saga of revenge. For example, reviving Lucare's economy from the industrial sector. Widen your perspective, and you'll see that Louisiana is an industrial treasure trove. With her intelligence and her charisma, I'm sure she would have found some amazing opportunities. Such a tragedy. Zach, there's one more important matter we need to think about here. Galena Clarkson, who was murdered in jail. Her body was dismembered, then rearranged into a V-shape. Patty and Melvin claimed it was a severed roots killing, but that doesn't make sense to me. And PJ Clarkson disapproved of it when I met him in the other world. He saw Galena's parts lined up and was overcome by an inexplicable fear. Tell me, who killed Galena? Unfortunately, we don't have the answer to this one yet, and it's too big a problem to solve with mere speculation. The answer to this question may lead to a major turning point for this case, and the final turning point for this story. You know it's true, Zach. I only hope it doesn't push us down an avenue we didn't plan on exploring. Hey, Zach, do you remember PJ's last words? Lena had intercourse with her older sister. Her own flesh and blood. This means there's still one more person out there who inherited PJ's blood.
I'll fucking poach you now, I gotcha. Caught you red-handed. Ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>